Okay, hi everyone. Um, I'm going to do a quick tutorial about batch changing images, so changing a lot of images in one go in Photoshop. I realise I haven't done many SX, well, any SX40 videos since I've been back. I've been waiting to do nighttime photography, but I've had a cloudy sky every day when I've tried to do it. It does look a bit clearer tonight, so I may brave it tonight, hoping that it hasn't clouded over. But at the moment, I'm just going to do a quick Photoshop tutorial. So I've had a couple of people asking me if you can change a lot of pictures in one go. So if you wanted to make one change to a lot of pictures, could you do it rather than having to do it every single time? And the answer is yes. So what I'm going to show you is how to create an action um, and then apply that to lots of pictures in one album. So um, in this case, we're going to be changing all our pictures to black and white. So I'm just going to open a file, so I've got a folder that's on my desktop at the moment, I've just uh, opened this in my finder window, um, and these are just some copies of pictures. Now whatever you do when you're doing a batch render of any sort, of like a batch change to a lot of pictures, just make sure you do it to copies of those pictures because if you accidentally save over the originals and you don't like what you've changed you're not going to be able to go back. So make a copy of your original pictures first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an action. Now what I did here, I went to window and actions, you see I've already got it highlighted and it opened up over here. Now I've created a new folder, you just do that here, um, so you see it says create new set and I just call it personal, that means that whatever I put in here I've made these myself. And what I'm going to do is create an action. So I go to create new action which is the same symbol as a new layer and I'm going to name it BW for black and white and it's just going to go, I'm going to tell it to put it under personal ones so it's not under the default ones. And I'm going to hit record. Now from this point it's going to record every step that I make to a picture. So if I go to file and open, I'll just select one of the pictures from that folder and open it. You'll see here it's saying that it's been opened and it's going to keep doing that, keep recording what I'm doing. So what we want to do to change it to black and white, if we go to our layers, we just want to duplicate this layer. We don't want to, to try and work on our background layer, mainly because it's locked. So it's going to cause a lot of problems with the batch if it's locked and things. So what's easier to do if you just click on the background layer, drag it down over that new layer icon and let go, it's created a background copy. Then what we do, we go to image, adjustments, and down here you can see black and white. We click that, it's got some other options, but it's, as you can see in the preview, it's already changed it to black and white. So we're gonna click okay. And now that top layer is in black and white, so we don't need to worry about the bottom layer. So we can put that to the side. So as you can see down here, we've got open, duplicate current layer, and black and white. So now we're going to go to file, save as, and save it as a copy. And make sure we save it as a JPEG as well. We don't want to save it as a Photoshop. So click save. It's OK and then we're going to close it. I'm not going to bother saving that because it's just an example. So now we've got our full action there so we're going to press stop and it's going to stop trying to record what we're doing. So now to do the batch render we're going to go to file, automate and batch. Now there's quite a few things you can do here. You see at the top here, I've because it's in the personal set, there's only one action because I've only made one and that's the black and white one, so we've already got that selected. Um, your source, you want it to be a folder and you're going to choose that folder that you've got your file saved to, so mine's already selected. Here you're going to click uh, tick to override the open commands. It's just so because you've got an open command in your action, it's not going to pause every time it tries to open a file. Um, same with override save as commands, it's it's already going to be saving as um, as part of the batch so you don't need it to stop to ask if you want to save it. So for the destination, we pick destination folder and choose. So if we just want to pick somewhere to save it, we're just going to make a new folder, this is just on my desktop, 
and I'm just going to call it BW for black and white and click OK. I usually would say don't save to your desktop but I've got so many folders for the sake of the demo I'm going to save it here. And here it's asking how you want to save your file so it's just going to keep the document name as it is. You could save it to the date of today or you could ask it to do a serial number so a letter so it'd be A, B, C, D until your pictures end but I'm just going to go with document name so it keeps the same name and the same extension. So once we've done all that we're going to click OK and you'll see it's working here. What it's doing is just processing the action before it starts running through all the pictures and you can see it's opening the files, changing them to black and white and closing them again. So it's going to keep doing that, it's going to run through all those pictures and save it into your new folder. This is really handy when you're doing um, when you've done like a big photo shoot and you want to see how you've sort of edited all your pictures and you want to sort of have a black and white option or a sepia option or sepia however you say it. One of those options it's good to um, to be able to just batch all of your pictures so you don't have to faff around doing each one one by one. Another good thing about this is that you've now got this action saved permanently so if you wanted to batch another lot of pictures all you would do is just go back to your automate batch just change the source folder and your destination folder and it will do the same thing to all those other pictures you you don't need to create the action again so it's really good I'll just give this a minute it's almost done my holiday pictures You can see I'm just sitting here, I'm not even doing anything. This keeps coming up at the end of mine. It doesn't actually, that I haven't had any errors coming up. I don't know why it keeps doing that. But I just click OK. So if I now open that folder where I was saving them to on my desktop, you'll see inside here I've got all my black and white images in the folder. I can open them up and they've all been turned into black and white and all I had to do was just sit here and let it do it and that is how you change a lot of your pictures in one go in a batch. I hope that helps.